and welcome back to gold rush rp it's actually been about a week since we last played unfortunately i was out of town for a bit so again let's see what's going on in new moscow it has been quite a while oh, since we were last here oh where's it going frankie not so bad Savelle. not so bad good to see you anyway bud oh yeah i'm in a oh my <laughs> Yeah, I've been away for about a week or so. What have I missed? <laughs> um, oh, man. Couple of developments. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Do we uh, get anything built up? Well, it seems to be it's it's on the way because you look to my right. Oh, shit. Go on, have a look. Boy, is it already built in a little bit? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> This is gonna be sweet. It's gonna be like a gunsmith and a blacksmith. So it's a little combination, right? Of a gun and a black. Nope. Follow me. Oh, wait, the blacksmith's way. moving. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're getting a whole new area as well. That looks oh, about. shit. Yep, development is finally arrived, friend. Or at least some sort of development. Oh, I'll take anything at this point. Exactly. Especially after Scar spent the whole town's budget on the goddamn chandelier. No, we don't even want to talk about that. We're still uh, financially recovering. Uh huh. Last last I left, there was a uh, a bunch of natives going and robbing everyone. There were some uh, people with green masks. I think has anything come of that? No, I haven't. I haven't seen nothing of that. I okay. actually met a new trade today. Really? Yeah, up at the Wapiti Reservation. Okay, okay. So there's a new tribe up there. They seem to be nice enough, folks. I think just the general rule is uh, just don't carry any guns. Okay, and then okay. here, all right, apparently there's a new tribe. As well. Blacksmith. Oh, okay, okay. It's nice to see stuff finally getting, you know, built up now. I mean, it's been a while, but uh, it looks like it's finally out. Hey, better now than never. <laughs> but we've had a couple of fellas stealing horses. Also, uh, now that I'm back for a while, uh, I'm gonna be starting up at a timber company, hopefully, like full Yeah, full. I wanted to talk to you about oh that. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, so, I've just been waiting until I should, knew I didn't have to lock leave town at all for a while, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. So, Mr. Goldfinch just, uh, cause you told me about it back at the meeting, and so I've been mm -hmm. kind of putting probes out. He just turned down a lumber company offer or something like that, and, uh, he said if you wanted to get a hold of that to talk to him. He just, I guess, opened up. Would you know where you, where, where, where is he? Uh, Armadillo. I think is. Uh, I, I saw he had a, a poster saying that's where he's at. Okay. So okay. I guess that's his new location. He was traveling around, I think. But what was his name? I might go there right now. Mr. Do you know if he's been around uh, Jack, recently? Jack Finch. He goes by Jack Mr. Goldfinch. Mr. Goldfinch. He was open about an hour ago, so he okay. should still be open. There's no close sign. All right, I'm, I'm gonna head down there. See if he's uh, an armadillo. Hopefully. Yep. Uh, just tell him Jay sent you down. Talk about all that and they'll be ready to talk to you about it ah uh, sweet sweet uh anything else interesting in the town i should know about just because i've been getting away uh, for about a week saloon fight is night. fully open now oh you guys did a fight night yeah no it's next saturday we're gonna, well, oh we're, okay we're, we're gonna, gonna start having them more yeah the whole county's been having them like crazy it's awesome all right sweet uh i'll head down to armadillo and then i'll be back here and what how long hell how long it take to get down there Probably um 30. Wait, i'll be back in an hour so hopefully hopefully not too yeah. long <laughs> just be careful uh, uh nasa has been pretty keen on keeping the roads clear but robberies are still happening you know okay i'm putting my nice guns away then all righty we are going to put away our nice guns go grab out our other ones and i think head down to armadillo and hopefully uh, get some business started with our uh, timber company and then come back here maybe get some workers and uh start actually working on the timber company also after armadillo since we're close to mexico we might go and check since we haven't been there for a week see what's going on we also want to check our telegrams at some point we gotta we just gotta get updated on everything uh so for now we're just gonna grab our pumpy and our just a cattleman it's not really gonna do too much but don't want to have our nice weapons on us apparently there's been a lot of robberies going on uh so again let's go grab our horse and i will see you guys once we are in armadillo hopefully everything goes well we can go talk to i think mr goldfinch down there and uh, get some trade relations started for our timber company i will see you guys in just a little bit actually real quick before we do head to armadillo uh something real quick i've been getting quite a couple comments just to let everyone know our uh, our dog is still alive don't worry he he's still he's still breathing he's still living so uh just want to you know make sure everyone knew that uh, our pet is not dead wait oh we can do, oh they changed it wow okay wow they actually changed the pet system quite a bit so now we can just select from here summon pet okay that's actually pretty sweet 
but just wanted to show you guys that uh cooper is still alive he's still chilling he's having a good time a couple people were concerned that he had uh, been killed or you know passed away but no he's still chilling he's still doing all right uh but again let's head over to there finally i just want to let you guys know that our pet is not dead he is thriving alive and uh, hopefully we're going to be training him some more throughout our little adventures and he can do some pretty cool skills apparently once we get him trained up he might actually be able to go like hunt stuff for us on his own so what i've heard but i don't know exactly how that system works but again either way let's finally head down to armadillo see you guys once we're down there and we are over in armadillo it seems like quite a lot has changed uh, i think we saw these buildings a while ago but the link they've been changed a little bit more so there's that new building i think there's one there there's like a little campsite now behind it we've not been to armadillo in a little bit so first of all we're going to get changed because this is not exactly the best clothing to have in a nice desert like uh, armadillo is in so let's change Hi. up real quick Hi, Audi. into uh, a little bit you know more appropriate attire real fast there we go. A little bit more comfortable. Now, let's see if we can find this fella. Not about, sorry. I'm back I'm in not sure bed. where he would be. Any chance y'all would know, uh, uh, I think it's a Mr. Goldfinch? Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, would you know if he's around town by any chance? I know exactly where he is. Oh, uh, <laughs> would you mind showing me him if you don't mind? 5,000. <laughs> no, he's, he's, at, he's at the border. He's at the border. He's at the border. Oh, yes. he is? Uh, yeah. Mexico border, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, Man, take okay. a boss. Okay. I can I can go I can go there anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's at the border, so you would just find him there. I uh, much appreciate. I see a uh, see like a sheriff or something or. The guy behind us. No, uh, Mr. Uh, Goldfinch. Yeah, he's a deputy. Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. All right, thank y'all very much. I'm gonna go head over there. Thank you. So cool. I bless you. Okay, that's easy. Okay, apparently he's a deputy or something, which again, we're fine working with the law. This is a totally legal business. And uh, again, once we get it running and we have a ton of wood, hopefully it will help quite a bit. But uh, I guess we're going to go the other way back to the border and uh i'll see you guys once we're over there that actually works out quite nice because we can go to the border we can have our little talk with mr goldfinch and then we can probably head over it you know tell him something dumb like you know we're gonna go talk to the mexicans as well about uh wood deliveries or something like that uh go catch up with the mexican army if rico or the rest are around see what's been going on with the smuggling see if they possibly need our help for some more smuggling in the future which i guess they are going to be but again we've been out of town for about a week so we're just kind of catching up on everything so again let's real quick head to the border have a little talk with that deputy about hopefully getting us some timber and a little bit of a trade route set up between us so maybe we can deliver him a certain amount each week or something like that so we can actually start employing people because we know we're going to make some money from it should be fun overall again let's head over to the border i'll see you guys once we're there talking to the deputy and hopefully setting up a little trade route all righty we are just about at the border oh my i just saw them drop a dead body so it looks like something may have gone wrong here <laughs> not sure what's happening let's see real quick looks like they're uh, checking someone real fast we'll just wait for them i'll be i'll be back oh uh, uh, sorry you gonna cross sir um i will in a sec are you mr goldfinch by any chance i am indeed oh okay um so i was told to talk to you uh only go over here just so we're not bothering them in him uh i was holy shit oh my god are you okay <laughs> Got a there you go. Not the best first impression. I apologize. <laughs> Holy, that's one way to start off. Sorry about that. Uh, I do apologize for my horse. He gets a little, he gets a little temperamental sometimes. <laughs> um, but I was told to talk to you because uh, I'm starting a timber company up in New Moscow, and I heard that you might be looking for some uh, consistent timber deliveries, or at least some in general. And I was, uh, look, oh, I was told so to talk no. to you about Jay, I believe. Oh, by what Jay? So I said to him, um. If there's an interest in someone who has a business, because I remember him telling me that he should purchase the Blackwater Lumber Supplies, that's where he wants to operate out from. It's a really nice little uh, plot of land, big lumber, all that. Yeah, yeah. And I had a business approved for my own lumber, but mm -hmm. I became a lawman. Okay. Uh, I suggest about being able to make build and sell uh, gonna, wagons because mm -hmm. it's yeah, something unique and it makes lumber worth the money because at the moment yeah. lumber's not particularly worth it yeah yeah so if you like build us a plan around all of that and like selling the bikes uh, off, does anybody wish to come tables and all of that that's a good thing just uh, i wanted to uh, just help someone out but I, I mean the other day. yeah that'd be uh that'd be that would help me out tremendously because i've been trying to get this started for a while it's just yeah. uh i've been yes. in and out here and there but now i'm gonna be around for quite a while so i'm just trying to get it all started up uh new yeah. moscow is just great we'll for wood as well I'm gonna try and just yeah. get a lot of people employed get something going 
big wagon and give me some. Yeah, take it down. But like, like I said, lumber business. Yeah. Best thing is you, you want to focus on it, and you don't want it to be only lumber. You want to be like a bit of a general store. Yeah, exactly. So all, all my thing was I would sell advanced camps, camp supplies, or all the camp stuff, like every single item camping. Yeah, that's what like I was camp planning supplies on as well. Supplies and all of them things, and then you want the main thing. And I spoke about. Um, them having someone come in and teach me how to build a wagon mm -hmm. um, and even having like special wagons built to specification that would be nice yes because that can't be done in county no one sells county. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. one sells wagons unless they're second hand mm -hmm. and you would be the first person doing that so if you made like a proper cool design around that like and which, i mean it's almost guaranteed because i know they want someone to buy the black water lumber supply boy, boy, boy. so I, mean, okay. I think you should jump it. I think it's a great business, and, I've, and I do think you'd be able to get it quite easily. Because I, I had mine accepted, I would have owned the business myself if I weren't a Norman. No, but, but. you can't be both, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Should I get a stockpile of like wooden such to show at least that I'm serious about it first, or should I probably try and buy that lumber yard? No, oh, I want it. No, you don't need to prove you're serious. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you can afford, they obviously do loans as well. But I think I was told roughly it'd be like five to seven grand for the lumber yard okay okay building your business loans and stuff like that okay okay I'll, I'll work on it then um any it tips you like, got um like 10 people. just make sure oh. the way you write it is like cross professional cross yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah professional organized oh, like like talk about like multiple sizes of businesses such as taking on wagon orders yeah. talk about hypotheticals and mm -hmm. what that but wagon okay business now. could bring to you and okay all that good stuff Oh, oh. Okay, okay, yeah, take it down. All right, so I think the next step for us is to get a business proposal together uh, and then also get a loan so we can hopefully purchase again. He was telling us, and I've seen it before, there's a lumber yard like right here, I think, or like right here, right here? Yeah, right here is a lumber yard. So it would be perfect. Again, Blackwater is kind of centralized around a lot of different locations. Of course, it's a little bit away from New Moscow, but that just means we'll be able to hire delivery people to go back and forth. Let's go. So it would all it would all go pretty well i think i think the next step again is to just get an actual business plan together so we can show that of course to the government have them prove it and then we're able to actually you know purchase it run it and hopefully if we can get those specialty yeah, wagons it'd be I very nice lean into all the camp stuff as well because no one mm -hmm. sells camping like advanced camps really Wait, i knew a lot of people about... used to back in the days with the stalls but not yeah, anymore not, not so much oh, now well. so you gotta make sure like it is a little bit more than just a lumber company. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. have multiple things to sell. You talk about like all that kind of good thing. Yeah, and be, I, be. I can almost guarantee you'd get it if you went for the black water supply thing. Okay, okay, uh, okay. So I would I write up the the, the whole business plan, uh, submit that, and yeah. then go from there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, sweet. I, I, I really appreciate this, by the way. It's all good. I honestly think you're guaranteed to get it if you make sure it's concise and you you know talk about the multiple parts because obviously it's not just going to be yeah, it's it's gonna wagons be... camp supplies uh supply and timber the people who need it in bulk yeah. such like that yeah, and uh definitely. also going to talk about probably how uh, all the people that will be involved hired you know interacted yeah. with all that stuff yep. definitely okay okay thank you very much um i think it's i'm so actually going to head over to the border though uh, i need to talk to yep. him about some stuff as well so i vote um i need to get your id and i'm uh, yeah, see Alrighty, there we go. Okay, so that's our next big thing. So before we even hire people, we need to get that business proposal done. Um, I think I'm going to talk to Frankie as well, because he should be able to hopefully give us a loan. Either Frankie or Scar should be able to help us out with this, especially if we tell him that we're going to give him some of the profits or, you know, of course, just pay them back of some interest. We're also going to take off our coat because it is going to be a little bit hot down here. But uh, let's see what's been going on in Mexico. And, you know, obviously, talk to everyone oh, once yeah. again. Howdy. Oh, wait, 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 I know the name. Well, do you know? Okay, it's been a week. Lola. See? Well, you actually got yes. it. Yes. Muy bien, Señor Zaville. Muy bien. Okay. Look at that. Okay. You're there a we member. go. Improvement. See? All right. Um, do I need to get short yeah. searched again and everything? Uh, see. Okay. Okay. Whew. Watch out. What, um, what brings you to Mexico today? Oh no! Just oh, watch I'm out. He's a little temperamental. Oh, wow. He's a little temperamental care. today. I'll take care Just, of him. You know, careful, careful. Okay. All right, I'm gonna need to see your passport. Oh, yep, yep, yep. All right, you're good to go. Ooh, finally. Adios, senor. You hey. take care of yourself. Rico, you got to say, oh my, I like the, you're looking good, looking good. 
Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I got a second. You guys taking the ketchup out? I haven't been, been around for a little bit. Whew. I just want to see what's been going on. I've been uh, in a town for about a week, so mm. I'm just trying to catch up. I heard the war is over, so congratulations on that. Yeah, we won. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking it was going to go any other way. Yeah, no, he was pretty convincing. Mm -hmm. Um. I just wanted to uh, check in, see, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, what's up with so, uh, any jobs, such as that. Yeah, I'm about to get a job ready for you right now. It's going to take me about maybe 10 minutes to set up. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so if you just wait here at the border, I'll go mm -hmm. quickly. Uh, the, I need to put stuff up in Presidio and then we'll go across to the to the US. I'll give you the stuff and I'll explain uh, what you got to do. Okay. Damn. Okay. That was right. fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've, I've had it ready for. Uh, but yeah, I, days, but I, was just I meant to tell you uh, that I was gonna be uh, a oh, little away fine, for a week, fine. but you know, I was pretty busy anyway. But uh, no, I got a assassination at the end of my life yesterday, so holy shit, I'm pretty fucked up. Do you know about who? Uh, no, they 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 know me. Um, they said that I was investigating them and shit, but I don't investigate anyone. Wait, I don't I even do say. paperwork, so I don't know where they got that from. But I gotta. gotta I don't even want to go over my injuries, but I'm fucked up, so I'm pretty high right now. But, soon, uh, well, my men over there, they can, uh, over there, they can look after themselves. Bit, they can, they can do their shit. Right, I'm gonna go pick up the shit, um, and then I'll be back. All like right. ten minutes, and then we'll go yep. across to the U.S. and we'll, we'll get you set up, right? All right, take your time. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I guess our whole entire plans are changing, and we are doing a mission for Eco. Okay, so that's nice. Teaser. Okay, yeah. I was not expecting that, but it uh, looks like we have a little a little mission. We're going to do another little mission, a little smuggling run once again. Again, continuing our little smuggler arc. I will uh, see you guys whenever Rico's back, and we are finally going to be doing another activity with him. Hopefully it goes well, and uh, we don't end this episode in jail. See you guys in just a little bit. Five minutes later. I have a message for you uh, from Senor Rico. Uh, he sent the telegram to let you know that uh, he'll be waiting for you in Armadillo. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, how did he end up in Armadillo when you Wait, just... Wait, I saw him go down that way. How did he get to Armadillo? <laughs> okay. Okay. Works, works, works. Probably, if probably swam there. I'm mm -hmm. gonna come with you, fuck it. Oh, you're coming? I was coming? looking to talk to him anyway. Okay. We've been. Alright, apparently Rico's in Armadillo somehow, so let's go meet up I with him and start this job. Mine. I don't know if yours is better than mine. But what's yours? Uh, it's a low tier Arabian fully trained. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right, we're gonna go. Uh, gonna go with another fella, and uh, gonna go head over to Armadillo. Hopefully, start this little mission from Rico and see where it goes. Again, I'm not really sure what kind of mission we're doing. We're doing something though. Let's find out. I'll see you guys once we've made our way over to Armadillo. I heard there was a, a fire here or something recently, wasn't there? You see, apparently somebody like had a cigarette through it, and it burned down the whole town there. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, this was fun now. Be all right so we were told to come here to talk to rico but we can't seem to find him so i guess we're just gonna wait here a little bit and hopefully he shows up see you guys in just a second or two hopefully all righty so apparently we were just given a new trading card pack should i open it now um, yeah it's pretty interesting okay i'm open it I got you I got too. a Cougar Ranch trainer card. Like Thank Cougar. you very much, by the way, for this. I appreciate it, sir. Yeah, sure. No I'm worries, man. Eight. All right. Daddy. I don't I don't really have much of a use for it. Okay, thank you. I'm open it. All right, we also just got a little trading card pack as a gift, which is the new cards that like show different characters in the county. Let's check it out. Damn, there's a lot of people in here. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Or Chippy. Oh wait, we got Chippy. That's one of the uh, the people from uh, that we just saw in Mexico, I believe. Oh, okay. Rico will probably think that's kind of interesting. Okay, okay. Sorry, Billy. I got Chippy. You got Chippy? Hey. That's the only person from New Austin I've heard about being on a card. Hey, it's actually interesting. I'm not even sure if she knows that she's on a card. That's the first <laughs> one I've ever heard of. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, there's Rico. Rico. Hold on, Rico. I just got a trading card for Chippy. Yeah. Too bad. I'm fucking pissed off. I don't got a fucking trading card. <laughs> yeah, I should get one too. How do you know? How do Dang, I know that I don't sweet. got one or how have I not got one? Wait, both. Um, I don't know. I, I, well, I just know I don't got one because I haven't found it yet. 
All righty. We got the little trading card. Rico's here now. We're gonna about to have a talk with him. No, All right, can we want to talk oh, real I've quick? Oh, I've gotta go and hire someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see you around, Orvin. Rico. Oh. Hey. You get in your pack, yeah. Can I, yeah. Can I grab five Me? minutes with you, please? Yeah. Just yeah. as soon yeah. as I'm done with this man over here. Just Chappie? I thought that was you. Yeah. Yeah. I only just got one. I'll grab you. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah. Okay. Well, just to let you know, I about Oh my god, okay. Tips. Everyone, best is <laughs> in town. You know, let's, so stop, let's stop having fun. <laughs> Jeez. Rico, you're a busy <laughs> man today, this thing. Make yeah. sure to, uh... Yeah. Okay, you got space in your pockets, amigo? Uh... I shoot, I only have about nine pounds on me. Right, there you go. Alrighty, let's see what this is about. Like that. Let's see what we're getting. Okay, create a produce. Okay. Alrighty. All right. Okay. Then we'll go out of town. And I'll explain All right. what you gotta do. So you're gonna need a little bit of cash on you to talk to this guy, right? I think it's like 150 dollars or something like that. Okay, okay. But you'll get that back in the shit that you sell. And no, cool. if if something happens, you don't manage to sell it. I'll well, actually, I'm just gonna give you 150 dollars to talk to him. It's fine. No, um, I got it. It's fine. It's fine. So you need to go to. Okay. Right. There's gonna be a guy there. You're gonna talk to him. Right? You're gonna talk to him. It's gonna let you into the room. Right. You're gonna talk to the guy in the room. You're gonna talk to him about cocaine delivery. Right? Okay. Um. Uh, once you have the product on you, um, it, like once you talk to him, you know you you'll read you know read you know you know you listen to what he says and shit Literally. like that. I know. Sorry, explain. You know what you gotta do. Um. He'll, uh, he'll give you a wagon mm -hmm. and then you go delivering. Okay, now it's sort of up to yourself or where you want to go about it. Whether you want to do it with someone, you get someone that you you know, you know don't trust, you do it right. with him or you do it on your own. But either way, you need to make sure when you're driving the wagon, you do not crash the wagon, right? You need it, you can't damage it um, because, you know, if the, if the law see that the wagon is damaged, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna want to search you. So you need to drive it you. really slow. No going over big bumps or anything, you know, just be really safe. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure the first drop is right there. Oh. So, I. How I am I supposed to do that? Not, There's a shit ton of people in town. Yeah, I'd probably not do it right now. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe, maybe give it a couple hours or maybe do it tomorrow. But okay. The, the way I used to do it is I would come in this side of town, mm -hmm. right? Like by that salon. Mm -hmm. And then I would go down the side and you deliver it in between. Uh, the salon and the gunsmith, like in, like uh, as right if you're going we're to where, through? or so no, so you know where you get your horse from. Yeah, like you go that way. You go there. It's okay, like in between the two buildings. Oh, sh okay. Um, now I've done it quite a few times. Um, I've never been caught. Um, now, again, I've had someone do it, and they did get caught, but they were like they drove this wagon so recklessly that uh, like it was crazy. So you mm -hmm. gotta like take your, you know, you, you gotta, you know, there's nothing wrong. You're just driving your wagon, you know, yeah, you're delivering yeah. something. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you got something to sell, you know, like you, uh, <clears throat> you bring some, I don't know, some food or some, some, apples, shit, like carrots, that. some shit like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, some apples and carrots and say that you're, you're, I don't know, maybe you're selling them to the people in the salon. You want to see if anyone wants to buy them, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then you sell that, you got out, and then there's like two more drops. So I just uh, I drop it off and have him unload it the same as I did with the other same, one. Same okay. way you do okay. the other motion, yeah. So the next drop is like further around that way, mm -hmm. pretty way out of pretty town. Pretty safe that so way. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and then the last one is like over this way, and I'm pretty sure that's it. So it was only risky one, the one here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everywhere else is easy. All right. Well, I'll right. probably uh, get on it yeah. tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, contact you again. I, I head to Mexico mm -hmm. pretty much daily at this point. Yeah. So. yeah. Right, amigo. I, uh, I wish you well. Maybe yep, he was waiting. I'll just see you in a couple of days, all right? All right, you take care. Okay. Adios, Miguel. Adios, Seville. All righty, so I think we're actually going to hold off on the next smuggling expedition for cocaine, which is going to be very risky. Uh, tomorrow, just because town has been super full, I, well, at least it was like five seconds ago, uh, but apparently yesterday, again, the whole bunch of stuff burned down, and now it's like some of it's reconstructed or something like that. So there's a ton of people in town, a lot of sheriffs, so I think we're going to wait till tomorrow. We've also already done quite a bit today, and uh, hopefully it all goes well. Again, those trading cards are really cool. Apparently, there's different trading cards for a bunch of the different prominent figures, 
around the whole county. We just opened up a pack that we were given by one of the sheriffs or deputies. Uh, and we got the Cheppy card, which is kind of cool. We know her and we've seen her around quite a bit. It'd be definitely cool to give her one. I'm guessing she already has one, though. But again, I think it's going to be about it for this episode. In the next one, we are going to be doing some coke smuggling. Hopefully that goes well. It's a little bit riskier since it is mostly in the U.S. And of course, we have to go literally right into town for it. So that's going to be a little stressful. I think what we're going to also do is buy like literally like maybe like 200 apples or 200 venison or something. So we have an excuse for the wagon. Of course, what we're doing with it as well. Uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas for our smuggling operation tomorrow anyways. But I think it's going to be it for today. If you guys did enjoy, make sure as always to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.